there's also social media in the schools and all that stuff. But right. now but, all of a sudden, see why but that's, all of a sudden you guys that, care about social but media. But we told you stuff when Jesse's message. But we told you when Jesse's message has always been about what? the family. But that's spiritual it's more responsible when he turns eighteen. Now it's about society. So there was a uh, some of you may have heard this story on Tuesday. The judge sentenced a father and a mother for the shooting uh, that their son were accused of doing at a high school. I want to talk about that, but I want my experts to come in. So this is from Fox. A judge on Tuesday sentenced James and Jennifer Cromley, parents of Oxford High School shooter Ethan Cromley, to a, a term of 10 to 15 years in prison. Each, the first parents of a school shooter in the U.S. history to be tried for their child's crime. Watch this verse from MSNBC. A judge has sentenced both parents at the 2021 Oxford High School shooter to 10 to 15 years in prison. James and Jennifer Crumley, both separately addressing the judge today. The judge today making it clear their, quote, convictions confirm repeated acts or lack of acts that could have halted an oncoming runaway train. Sentencing them to 10 to 15 years behind bars. When it's all said and done, when you uh, count in the formulas there, you'll see them behind bars for a period of about seven to eight years because in the state of Michigan, you usually serve about two thirds of that sentence and they'll be getting credit for time served. And the judge explaining that this is not about bad parenting, that she kind of dismissed the arguments that you heard from uh, James and Jennifer Crumbly as they spoken as they address the court and those families in that courtroom. And the judge said the sentence is not about bad parenting. Instead, she said it's about related acts that could have halted a runaway train. She later said it's about repeatedly ignoring things that made a reasonable, a reasonable person feel the hair on the back of their neck stand up. And according to Fox and uh, Post Millennial, prosecutors have suggested the Cromley could have stopped the shooting before it happened when they arrived to meet with school counselors after Ethan was caught scrawling disturbing notes in class, such as blood everywhere and the thoughts won't stop. Help me. Was the parents responsible for what the kid did? Should the parents have gone to prison? No, it's not fair that they did this to the parents because it's... It's, this is all about going after the guns. They're saying, oh, you have to do this with your guns in your own home. Oh, it wasn't locked. Your guns weren't locked. Stuff like that. They said it wasn't about bad parenting. Had it been about bad parenting, then I might have been more open to it. So, no, it, they shouldn't be going to prison for this. I think that they are responsible. I agree with James, though, that any attack... I mean, there is a attack on the gun that I didn't... I had didn't really see as clear before the attack on the gun until we talked about it and you guys mentioned it and, and James mentioned it. But what according to these clips, what they're saying is that the reason why they're tried and they're going to jail is because of the lack of action they took in different areas, not just with the gun, but with just the fact that they failed to see certain signs. So because of that, I agree that the, the parents should be locked up. But to go even further, I think that the teachers should also be locked up as well because the teachers that were involved in this, they saw the signs, they saw different um, things that led up to to see that this, this, this guy is not stable, something's wrong with his mind. And then even though they knew that and the parents came, they still didn't send the child home. They let him go back to class even though he had this drawing of the blood and the, the death and all these things. They sent him back to class. And when they sent him <laughs> back to class, that's when he did the shooting. So they ignored all the... He, he basically said, I have a demon. The voice is telling me to do it. I'm possessed. So you think that when they when the parent went to the school, and I guess according to the report, I may not be clear on it, but it sounded like they found it. They saw the, the little scribble test he had made on the paper about the gun and all that, and he yeah. was crying out for help. That at that point... The parents should have known he was about to shoot? No, I say, like, well, for one, <clears throat> the first sign was, and I'll make it quick. The first sign was that 
he was texting about the all, he was looking online about the bullets and stuff like that, uh-huh. which is not a big deal. But when the second part came in, when they draw the guns up, when he draw the bullets and saying that thoughts won't stop, and you do the pictures, and then you go back to the first red flag that he was looking up the guns. <laughs> And then, um, <laughs> <laughs> then you're like, oh, okay, this is kind of crazy. <laughs> but then the, the the school said, if you don't put him in therapy within 48 hours, um, they, they demanded them to put him in therapy for 48 hours. They said, you should put him in therapy. Something going on with his, bar- his brain. You need to do it. They refused that. So the parents refused them to get him help. But then on top of that, that same day after they refused the help, they said, go on and send him back to school. And when they sent him back to school is when he did the shooting. So they could have took him home. They could have put him in therapy, but they they ignored that, the parents and the teacher. According to Wikipedia, Ethan was 15 years old at the time of the shooting. Which is even worse. <laughs> he got demons because the parents ain't raising him right. Uh, <laughs> but man. what's therapy going to do? People who what's get the therapy time, commit but, suicide and all kinds of But, crazy I mean, stuff. it could have been, what, what, what's the worst that can happen? You can't lose. Let's say they sent him to therapy and then he does it anyways. Do they still go to jail? <laughs> the, which one? Yeah, the, what are the they parents? supposed to do? Let's say <laughs> if parents send them to therapy and he still commits a shooting. Do the parents still go to jail? The parents don't go to jail if they. The parents are going to jail according to them because they ignored these signs. Right. If they didn't ignore well, these signs, then he probably wouldn't have did the killing. They wouldn't have to go to jail. But I still. The parents think, are going to jail be- for giving him a gun. No, no, no. That's well. That's not. That's not what they're saying. They're I'm, saying that he's going to jail for giving him a gun, but also because they neglected the signs. Oh yeah. So Nick, should You're the right. pair have uh, the host of the American Anchor Baby at twelve noon Pacific time? Should they have gone to jail? The parents no. are they to blame for what the son did? No. No. This this whole case from the from the top is. Hate, blame, and victimhood. And okay. though. Healing America from the poison of hate, blame, and victimhood. <laughs> Rebuildingtheman.com. Rebuildingtheman.com. So go ahead, Nick. The details are so amazing. When you look at, for example, just the mother, and you look at her case when she was being, um, when she went to court for all this, their defense was to blame the father. Their defense was, it was his fault. He was trying to give him a gun. They were trying to play with the gun, da, da, da. And so it was oh, all the blamed mother there. was blaming the father for. Yeah, there was, she she took no responsibility. She said, "Where'd you get I, that from?" I, this is from my reporting back in February, and I got this from CNN.com. Oh, okay. Nice. And um, they yeah, were, it was so much. It's all blame. What I'm trying to dis, uh, express here is that there's no one involved here. The judge, the parents, those crying parents you saw that actually really care about the issue and want to want to fix it like for example she's blaming the husband in her thing not learning not repet- she's like i, I would have done the exact same thing she says look they don't care about mental health they say this is all this is all the gun thing the whole it's only the gun thing uh um trying to he, you know placate the pain of others like trying to make people feel better it's, a, yeah. it's about revenge if you really think about it not justice yeah because those guys that guy's like oh i have anxiety the father one of, the, one of the fathers of the dead people. They're talking about, oh, I'm never going to get over this. <laughs> and yeah, this stuff that goes on behind closed doors with anybody would make the hair on your the back of your neck stand up. Cause it, everybody don't have hair gonna on the back red, of their neck. They're going to red flag and lie everybody. He pointed at the hair on the back of his neck. <laughs> I, I, I like the tough stance of like, you know what, parents, you are responsible. That Joel is taking on, but this case has nothing to do with that. They're gonna they're I gonna start that, misjudging everybody, fair. but and if we go with taking Joel, their guns away and putting them in mandatory yeah. insane asylums just for being conservative. If we and go say, with you're what crazy. you guys are saying, then so many more parents need to go to jail. Like I just saw some some white kids getting beat up at some high school, and yeah. I'm like, okay, those parents got to go to jail too, right? <laughs> right, <laughs> right. I agree though, but but you're right. I do agree that there's also an attack on the guns. But in this case, it so happened that it makes sense that they're getting tried, in my opinion, because of the signs that they refuse to see. Like you always speak on, he's turned away from the father, and he has anger in his heart for the lack of forgiveness for the, of the mother and the father. So they're responsible. Is drawing a picture a crime? He's, drawing, he's basically saying, I'm going to kill people, 
without saying I'm going to kill people, and then you let him go back to school. But he didn't say that. Lots of shoulders. Lots of shoulders is what you're saying. Right, but he... Yeah, lots of shoulders. But jail. parents know he has a gun. If the the fraud knew he had a glass... (laughs) <laughs> he shouldn't have jumped. So you think that it was you think that that it was po- perfectly justifiable that they sent him back to class? What? You think that it's good that they sent him back to class even though he had this drawing? I don't know. I want to ask though, so how is that happening, Ethan, by putting his parents in jail? It helps the it helps parents and Ethan's how? parents and parents like Ethan's parents to double think like Maybe I should be more involved in the in the child's life. Maybe I should prevent certain things. Um, would um, if these parents had been black and the boy were black, would the parents have gone to jail? But see, you guys are looking I at think, the law. Part I kind of it. think that it is doubt. I <laughs> like, I doubt it. I doubt it. Regardless, because it's the they would have cried point. racism and all that stuff. They said, "Oh, this this is just racism." Look at all these white parents whose whose kids do mass shootings. What do you expect them to do? do uh, would the parents have gone to jail if they had been black? Probably not. Why not? I mean, obviously, we know that there's an agenda against everything. Everybody got an agenda. <laughs> everybody <laughs> trying to set up everybody. And it's all based off of feelings. Look, there's plenty of black parents right now raising children who are killing, who are, who are angry. They're killing the souls. That's happening in many families. We're talking about the blacks. Um, and there's a really good example of it. They're destroying the souls of these kids, and they're going out. They're even doing physical violence, and there's no one saying reform the parents, put them in jail, and they, they know, and they won't. I agree with that, but how come nobody's acknowledging in this moment that these parents were out of line? How come not one of you guys have acknowledged that these parents <laughs> were out of line? I, I, I did have. say, I said it was about <laughs> yeah. bad parenting. Nobody did right now, but yeah. the only... The I only said would have sent them to jail for drawing. The, the, the court said it wasn't about bad parenting. Do you guys no think that one. the parents are responsible, along with the child, for these other children being shot, for them not preventing this from happening? All that stuff, no. it's too late. I know, but but... But do you think that no, this I'm could sa- have been No, what preventing? I'm saying is uh, all that stuff is too late because when you get to that point, he's already he's already a, a murderer at no, heart. But, no, but, we're, it, but that's not the question. The question is, <laughs> are the parents guilty for not seeing the signs and and also be responsible just as, for, for the kid killing those other kids? No. They're guilty for the anger. They're guilty for, for that. Yeah. But they did not shoot Let me, those kids. Oddly and strangely... I say no, it wasn't fair. The parents should not have gone to prison. And because this boy was said that he was demonized. He didn't say demon, but he heard yeah. voices in his head. I'm, I'm sure to stop the thoughts. Yeah, and everybody and their mama hear voices in their head nowadays. But the boy was 15 years old, and how would the parents know what the boy going to do, right? And as far as buying him a gun, it's natural that when boys turn 15, 16, 17 years old, 17 years old, that the parents teach them how to be hunters, how to have a gun and stuff like that. And uh, you can't be responsible for what they do. I got my first gun when I was 15. Had I gone and killed somebody, it would have been my parents' fault. They didn't know. They're spiritually the- responsible for how you... Uh- for the the anger and all st- that stuff in you, right? But they're not physically responsible for well, the physical things you do, right? That's what I'm saying. Right. That's not not what I'm saying. Everybody <laughs> crazy that, like that nowadays, right? Yep. But you, okay, but you know everybody has these thoughts or whatever the case is. But right. if somebody come into bond uh-uh. and they that ain't gonna happen, okay, and they cancel the those words. Words. I rebuke the okay. <laughs> but see, look, you're rebuking them already, which is making my point before I even get the words out. What's so you're basically you? saying you're, right, you're making my point. Is that if somebody comes into bond with a sign that says, uh, I have voices in my thoughts and I want to shoot blood everywhere, do you think that the security guard at bond is going to be like, hold on, they're going to watch or they're going to be like, let them stay. You're no, going to handle it. It you're sounds like you're blaming it. the let's school. Let's say the security no, guard so lets you blame the school? Is that what is, is happening? Let's say the security guard lets him stay <laughs> and he saw the sign but it was like, no big deal, and that person right. commits a crime. Is that security guard now going to jail because he saw the sign the guy had the sign huh. and he committed is a crime it, and he did nothing about the sign he saw should that security guard not go to jail is he responsible 
And somebody, good point. Yeah, maybe it's no, no, that's a question. That was a question. No, was good a point. Question. Well, I'm answering it right now. Good point. Maybe the security <laughs> guard shouldn't be going to jail for making a mistake, right? But he should be fired. There should be a consequence. I agree. There should be a consequences. But I did say the parents should go to the. I mean, the teachers should go to jail too. I had to rethink that. But the <laughs> but the parents, your parent, you're saying that the kid is saying he has thoughts and demons in his mind, and he's drawing pictures of them shooting. You would let your child just go back to school after you just saw that? Like, that's so uncrazy. But you drew the picture at school. At school. According to the report. Right. And then they, they called the parents, and the parents came to school, and the, and the teachers were like, look what he drew. He drew. I would be like, oh, shooting. my son is an amazing artist. Okay. I didn't know he could grow like that. <laughs> right, but now you're being silly. <laughs> Am I saying that? But, but the point is, is that at that point, do you send him oh, back like, to, I didn't know. But do you send him back to class, or do you I say, like. I would be like, take an art class. Well, now you're not being serious. <laughs> what I think is going on is like now there's a the whole thing. <laughs> there's this worldly version of yeah, you know. hol- holding people yeah, responsible, and again. then there's like this the the right version of holding people responsible. Wait, say and it again. So there's like a worldly intellectual holding people quote unquote responsible, and then there's the right way to hold people responsible, and they're doing it in the worldly way. And some of the people who are Christians are falling okay. for this stuff. Fair enough. So do you think, so let's, if, if it's possible, if we were able to allow them to do a proper trial the proper way, would you go with it and say they should do the proper trial the proper way and they should go to jail for the proper things? Would you do it? I don't know if they should go to jail at all. Why? Well, you should go to jail for that shirt. I really don't think they should go yeah, to jail like, at all. They should, because they're suffering already. Because they know their like, sons okay, a murder. Let me ask all you guys. Let me ask you this question. And I need you guys to answer because you guys wanted me to answer. I yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah. I need sure you guys answer. <laughs> I'm not right? your eyes. If a child <laughs> draws, <laughs> y'all need no, y'all need to ask If a child <laughs> has a photo, of young man. A young man. Oh, years old. All, all of a sudden, you guys want to use young man now. All of a sudden. You're changing it on him. He's under 18. Okay. If 12 he, is a man. He's not, and he's not responsible for his own life. He's under the responsibility of his, of his parents. If he, if he has a picture drawing him killing people and saying blood everywhere, and he's saying that he has thoughts in his mind, knowing what you guys all know, what we all know about thoughts and demons, and he's saying he has this, and the parents are saying, "Send him home." Would you say, "No, let him go back to school"? I would. I would want him in an as- insane asylum. Exactly. I would want him committed. <laughs> Is that okay? What do you think? I would say, call the paddy wagon. Boom. Right. Get him out to school, right? Right. Put him in a crazy. Yeah. Place. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm the type of. Per- cause I don't know. I guess I'm the type of a dad who let this go crazy. But hopefully, I see that, <laughs> and it, and it's like. It makes me just be like, I need to do something different. My child has no love, and and hopefully I do something different. Exactly. Exactly. Which is perfect. That's exactly. Like, I'm not saying go everybody, jail. but everybody said right here that they would see that sign and do something about it. I don't know if I do anything about it. No, but you said she, so. You would let I him go call, back to school. I call it a paddy wagon <laughs> to you get him out of school. What's the paddy wagon? I, yeah, Wait, I but to answer mean. the question first, oh, we'll okay. go to the paddy wagon. All right. Would you allow him to go back to class? Or would you say if something's wrong here? Let's take him out of school. I, you know, I hate doing if, but right. I, but for the sake of the conversation, I probably would say, "Come on, go home. Let me let's see what's wrong with you, boy." And then, come on, go home. Would that, that day? Would that avoided that shooting that day? I don't. Oh, that day, I probably yeah. would avoid it. Boom. <laughs> so <laughs> but my boom, point, nothing. That my doesn't point, mean jail. My point <laughs> is that they ignored the signs, like the clip said. And because they ignoring ignored signs the, is not a crime, though. But listen, right? But because they ignored the signs is the reason why it happened that day. But so people are the blind. Signs, you know what I'm if the crime. signs weren't ignored oh. that day, <laughs> there wouldn't have been a shooting that day. Therefore, the parents ignored the signs, so they're being tried because other people's kids got killed for them ignoring the signs and. This kid being crazy and them doing nothing about it. And the teachers try to warn it. So I think they should be in jail. But ignoring the signs is not a crime, even if it leads to a crime. Right. By law, the How about the, the if parents, he was 16, 17? The parents are still responsible for it. By law, the parents are responsible. But they're not responsible for what, this, responsible? what the boy because does. He's a, he's go, he goes to juvenile hall. Law. 
No, so but he, just, he doesn't make them responsible for what he does, you even can't if they be ignore the signs. What happened outside the home? But you, but but this kid is jacked up because of the parents. How you know that? That, that what do you mean? You, how we know that? You <laughs> say it all the time. <laughs> There's also social media in the schools and all that stuff. Right. But now but, all of a sudden, see why but that's, all of a sudden you guys that, care about social but media. But we told you stuff. When Jesse's message, always been, when Jesse's message has always been about the what? family. But that's spiritual yeah, respons- responsibility. Now turns 18. it's about society. But that's spiritual responsibility. That's not physical to sending them to prison over something that but they, spiritually they failed. Right, but they're spiritually failing by not recognizing this kid needs help. But this, you're talking about physical signs, and the spiritual failure was when he was a little kid. It's and so that's nothing. To, yeah, exactly. Spiritual failure was when he was born all the way up until 15. Before he was born. But yeah, right. but people are blind to signs, and people are used get used and to. That's why people they're insane, about it insane. crazy, right? But yeah. did I answer your question there? Whatever you asked me about this parenting, I answered the question. Remember, I forgot. I forgot to. Oh, but I think oh. you did. I think oh, you did. he said that day it would have <laughs> probably wouldn't have happened. Sean, want to know? Do you also charge the grandparents for messing up the parents? For messing up the if parents. they're white, yes. I think no. I think no. <laughs> I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about Joel's thinking. <laughs> no, but Joel's thirty percent white. Not the grandparents. <laughs> I know you're just joking, but the parents missed the signs, and the parents raised this fifteen year old. The parents got him a gun. The parents were all involved in this from the very beginning up until fifteen, and on top of it, they ignore the signs, lock him up. The reason <laughs> nothing like the parents have never been punished for what kids do outside the home is because it's normal for parents to, at least for boys, for them to get guns and thing at a certain age. Right. And it's normal that they go out and use their gun, not on people, but right. hunting I, and, but and if stuff you're, like that. But if, you're co- if your but, child has so, thoughts and, and devils and voices in his head, are you buying him a gun? Yeah. He was about that. Can I enter that? So who don't have voices in their head? No, but I'm talking about he's drawing pictures and he's he But that was just trouble. that one day at school. But I, he okay. already had the gun. But but you, Jesse Peterson, would be able to know if his child, your child, has mental problems, I mean like spiritual problems. Right. But so I, then you're not gonna buy him a gun if you know that he has these demons and he's draw- and he's he's think about shooting people. But they didn't know that before they <laughs> got the gun. But how here's, do we know? Here's the detail from the case. But how do you too. know he did? True, but what? he has no. spiritual <laughs> issues. He has issues. According to the report, there was no sign that they knew that before he bought the gun. Oh, go ahead. There was this ca- about the gun. Okay, it's ahead. about the go gun ahead. thing. You guys can respond to this because it's a really interesting detail in the Jennifer Crumbly case. You know, she was trying to tell her defense was that it's the dad's fault. She was trying. He was trying to give him a gun, and if you look into it, in my opinion, it seems like the dad was trying to connect with his son, and she was like in the way. So, if we wanted to go with your right. uh, n- uh, new parent tribunal, I say put the <laughs> mom in. In trial for that, it's like you try to get in the way of a that could have saved him if they spent more time together with that gun. Well, here's the thing: is that you know and I, mean? I get like, your point. No, yeah. but no, but I get your point. Like I get your point. But if you look at the Wikipedia story, because I covered this on my show a while ago, if you look at the Wikipedia story, according to Wikipedia, the son was a child. The parents would leave him alone at eight years old in the house, and they would nice. go party. Nice. That's nothing wrong with that. I was right, left alone. That, that is so insane that you guys even let that come out your lips. What the heck? <laughs> because <laughs> I was a what do you mean? Oh, a helicopter parent. So many times at that age. That's third okay, grade. But these parents you, are going you know out to party to? while right. he's just out there, just being being uh, 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 being alone and doing whatever he wants. That's but, fun. But it's normal that parents oh leave the kids God. at home at that time and go party, and then come so, back. So drunk. they were so they were great. So they were great parents. No, I'm not saying they're great parents. But that part so is that part is not a but problem. But in any other case, this is my point. In any other <laughs> case, all three <laughs> of you guys would, would say if, if this never happened, because the whole message that is always said here is the parents, the parents, the parents, the forgiveness, the parents, the parents, forgiveness. Yes. But now all of a sudden, spiritually, but not it's jail. about. <laughs> the it's about the situation. It's about um society. <laughs> it's about, media. He should be alone things. as it did. But what happened to forgiveness? <laughs> what happened to yeah, forgive that boy? Let yeah, where's the forgiveness? <laughs> I haven't heard any forgiveness. <laughs> um, oh, anybody mentioned forgiveness? 